Hi everybody, welcome to Big Eye Golf. Oh, quick adjustment. There we go. Hi everybody, welcome to Big Eye Golf. Welcome to Hell Golf and Driving Range. We're on the grass section, we've got permission to do this. Yeah. Normally we'd be up on the range itself, but the bays echo a bit with filming sometimes. We are right in front of the new bays that have been built. Yeah, new break. fitting bays, be fantastic. I'm with Neil Allen. Hello. So, welcome to Big Eye Golf and welcome to 4x40. So, this is 4x40. This is not quite 40. Not which quite, is, which yeah, is good. Which, which is good. Which is good. Still time. Yeah, still, and that's the point. There's still time. Still yeah? time. So, if you've watched the previous, well, three nine videos i guess the land hydro videos yeah. and the ones that we have just filmed at cape cornwall club which went out this week if you've not seen them yet please go back and watch them then you'll understand why we're doing this okay i'll put a link to one of them up here and you can find the rest this is a kind of a four by four update yeah. four by 40 update yeah a little update on how things are going and and what's happening yeah so if i very quickly to say what's happened to you so far yeah and you, yeah, can, no, carry on, and carry you can divulge more yes so we had the lesson with Chris Gill we did yeah and a fantastic lesson it was too and you saw 95% of that whole lesson on this channel yeah you know, I think, we, yeah, we pretty, the whole pretty much everything was was shown yeah and you've watched it a lot over and over thank uh, you very much for the views now. that's right it's no problem <laughs> <laughs> uh, all views are good uh, and things are going really well yeah things started to progress started to get better yeah. yeah, and you went out and played West Cornwall. I, I wasn't there that day, but you played West Cornwall like you've done a few times by yourself. Yeah, yeah went out early. Early uh, morning. Played at West Cornwall. Um, struck the ball quite well. I mean, it was the first time I'd hit a longer club than an eight iron with the new sort of move in the swing. Yep. And yeah, it was quite quite impressive, really. I think it was very encouraging, wasn't it? I mean, you it sent was, me a, yeah. a message, a WhatsApp message, saying, uh, what was it, you were eight under or something for your score? I, I was I was under my handicap by four shots. Four shots, sorry. Which, after a lesson, is I don't read really WhatsApp messages that well. <laughs> so it was, it was good, sort of as a starting point for yeah. coming straight out of a lesson and going onto a course and putting that into play. So yeah, it was a good positive start with that. Um, struck it well. I noticed a lot of changes, a lot of sort of progression with the swing and with the ball flights and the accuracy, definitely. And then we moved to Lan Hydrock. We went to play Land Hydro, we did a course vlog there. That that was quite a day, that was. It was, it was a good day. It was a good day. Um, well, it seemed, and there's no disrespect no, to you, because no. you, if you've seen all the videos, you hit a great score. Yeah, I, it was, it was a fantastic well, yeah. score. You scored very well. Um, in hindsight, was it as good as we thought it was? When you look back at it, there was a lot of luck there. I yeah. wasn't quite as straight off the tee as maybe it could have been. Yeah, but you need you need good luck to get yeah. good scores. But even yeah. the back need good luck. Yeah, the yeah. old bounce back onto a green yeah, or bounce something. Bounce back yeah. out, etc. But I think I scrambled it well. Yeah, there were some strategic trees. Yeah, which I mean, we found for you. There was four birdies on the day, which yep. was really positive, and they weren't they weren't scrambled birdies either. They were sure. they were actual they were, birdie they were, they were birdie chances, ones. birdie yeah. putts. And you've seen all those all those on the video. Can we make sure you played yeah. every shot to get yeah. a score for your well, handicap? When we started, it was like, no, I'm going to keep the score today. We're going to keep the score going. So yeah, we kept the score going, sort of in the background. And um, I think after the first nine holes, I was two over, and that was brilliant. I yeah. was over the moon with that. Totally. Yeah. Again, you are a confidence player. Mm. Okay. When, when the confidence is there, it, oh yeah, I do play a lot better. But I also know you beat yourself up all the time, mm. like for the tiniest things, because you're messaging me regularly, every day. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. talk every day. And, and uh, mostly it's, I've been to the course and I hit this today, or that didn't yeah. go very well. Even how did the video go? Did we edit it all right? You're, yeah. you, you're not nervous, you're just worried that you want it to be as good as you can yeah. be. And that's the same with your golf, you want it to be as bad yeah. as you can be. So you do beat yourself up a little bit. Yes, yeah, my biggest critique is myself, really. I think that's everybody. It, it always, the same issue. always has been. I, I sort of have this idea of where I could, how I could play, and you know, I beat myself up a lot if I don't achieve what I think I could do. I know at the moment, just playing to my handicap is sort of the goal. Okay. 
So the, the handicaps are fluctuating quite a lot at the moment. Yeah. Badger has noticed that he's gone up, up six shots or something. Yeah. I haven't noticed because not really playing at a club officially no, no, no. yet. Uh, yours dropped down dramatically after putting that, yeah, well, that went score from in. 13.7 down to was 8.9. Okay. Which is lovely because that's kind of where you want to be yeah. at the end of the season, I think you said. At the you end of this year, I want to get eight. Eight is like the target. For the yeah, end into of single season, figures, yeah. but not expecting to go down way no. down. No, no, no. Um, that's another year's. Yeah, it's plan. to get to get into single figures and sort of consistently hit that for this year, and then next year try to take it to that next level to get those other four shots. Okay. Off the card. I think with the new handicap system, you've got to get to is it twenty rounds in or something before yeah. it kind of stabilises properly. Yeah. So. I mean, I know that I'm going to. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go up. It's going to peak off yeah. and up and down, but. It's just getting that to consistently set sure. a score all the time. So we're going to come back to that in a second about getting yeah. the rounds in. Because, what was it? About a week later we went and played Cape. Yeah. Yeah. Now you played West Cornwall the day before, I think you said. I played the day before. Okay. And? And it was terrible. Okay, it I, was pants. I, yeah, yeah, all words to that effect. Yeah. I, I don't know, I lost my timing. I was thinning a lot of shots. I was trying to keep, you know, the move that Chris had taught me, trying to keep that going, and for some reason it just wasn't working. It didn't or, work. I don't know if I was tired or... But you were know, telling something. me that at the, the, the moment, I've not played West Cornwall for quite a while, but I know that in the summer they used to do this and they've done it, they're doing yeah. it again now, that the a lot of the roughs are really high. Yeah, yeah the American US Open Yeah, they're letting the rough thing. grow in certain places and it's it's landing zones and yeah, I, I lost a few balls because okay. of just creeping off the fairway, you're getting the thick stuff and you can't find it. But it wasn't just that. It was it, it was it, an it issue wasn't that just you were that. It was, getting the swing. Yeah, I just wasn't getting the swing right. Something in my head wasn't clicking with it that day and Okay. You sort of think to yourself, right, okay, put that in the back of the mind and then move forward. And so we went to, to Cape Cornwall the next day. And did you move forward? Not really. Mm. No, well, there was there was times, glimmers. Yeah, uh, there, there was, was little glimmers. glimmers but uh, admittedly, if you've seen the videos, like I said, please watch them. We we had to rush. We yeah, got we, there at like quarter to six. There was limited time. Yeah, we likewise, was, the weather was going to come in fast. Playing against the weather, playing against the light, and again playing with cameras. Yeah, and I, it's all I those things. Just finished a ten a, ten hour day at work, so I was probably a little bit tired. Yeah, but ignoring that because you want not just because you wanted to film and thank you very much for yeah. filming but you wanted to play yeah yeah no it's, yeah. it's making the effort now to put some time in after work and well and get this is kind of the discussion what we had kind of off camera i think yeah. on, on the that those nine holes yeah which were intermittent for both of us to say the least and i've had lessons with dan and everyone knows that as well and you've had a lesson with chris yeah. you were getting more what happens with me is when i had the lesson yeah, most 99% of the time, apart from one lesson, it was all in my head. I knew what I was doing, come away, yeah. even came back here, drove two and a half hours and went a quick range session with my, by myself just to yeah. make sure it was there. Don't play for a few days, kind of okay. Do it for another practice session, that's yeah. all right. When you get on that course, you forget half of it, and then that's halfway it, yeah. round, you go, hang on, especially with the drives with me at that time, I should have, I just remember to do that last yeah. bit. And then when I do it last bit or the next time, it works. Yeah, yeah? that's it. It's so you do kind of forget bits, which I think everyone does yeah. after a lesson. Um, it's trying but I've to not lost it, hope in it. Trying in what to keep I'm it doing. ingrained, isn't it? Trying to keep doing yeah. it. Yeah. And, and the problem is probably slightly easier for me because I'm a carer, so I can jump onto a course near me if I want to go into a bit of practice yeah. quite quickly and then get home for an hour. People like yourself, but most people who watch this will be working a full-time normal job. Yeah. When you have a day off, that you're able to go and play golf, yeah. what do you do? I mean, generally, my days off normally fall after doing a shift yeah. until late in the evening, sort of talking half 10, 11 o'clock. So, and I like, normally like to get out on the course early because it's not quite so busy and I can get out there. And if I want to play two balls, I can play two balls and there's no one there behind me really. But the simple fact is you're playing the course. I'm you're playing, playing the course, proper yeah. golf. Yeah, and I think I need to take a step back from playing. Okay. Or doing that, I need to go and do more practice you need to be more it. here yeah or exactly. any other or, range there's a radnor one near where you yeah. live sometimes and, and this one yeah um, you know you can practice areas at west cornwall or at cape cornwall there's a little practice area yeah. but we don't do we we don't no. we want to go out and play golf 
That's it. You want to get yeah, out you want the to play the proper get, game, get scoring, and see how you're playing on a hole rather than just hitting a ball you know, 150 yards, 180 yards on the range. And it, I think I need to drop that mentality a bit and work more on going just to the driver range with an eight iron and just hitting balls. And Get just that practicing swing that grain. swing, practicing that move, and yeah, working on that rather than going out and going right, play around the golf today. I literally just walked into the reception here, and and Jamie is here, and uh, he's one of the, the pros here, yeah. professional pros. And uh, I, I said to him, we're going to do a bit of filming. We have permission to film. That's fine. And what we're going to talk about, and he said, "Yeah, you've got to get that um, mechanics in. You've got to get yeah. that movement, just memory, back into your yeah. game again. Because you, we all do it, and we said it on the Cape videos. You kind of revert back to what yeah. you used to do. No, no, that's true. Because you think, oh, this this lesson is rubbish. This didn't working anymore. Which yeah. actually is because you forgot what you're probably doing anyway. Yeah. Most of the time, uh, and you don't trust it. So you go back to what you were. But yeah. if you go back to what you were." I'll stay a 30 there's, handicapper there's, and you'll no, stay a 13 handicapper. There's no handicapper. progression there. You need to keep working at it. And I think yeah. that's what's been frustrating me most is I'm trying to do it and I'm like, I'm trying, but why isn't it working? But I just need to, say, do more reps of doing it, which will then ingrain it in more. You see, in a, in a strange coincidence, we put a video out the other day um, and I just come, I've just come back from Kate with you and I'm just about to start the editing. Yeah. And I had a message coming through, a comment on one of the videos which said the same thing. They were watching the land high drop videos and they're going, you, Neil needs to get on that range. Yeah. And just practice and practice and practice. Yeah. But it's so difficult for the, the normal golfer who's only got a limited amount of time to actually just want to go and do that. That's it, yeah. I need to, to make time and I've, I've got opportunity now to make more time to do yeah. it. So, yeah, instead of on a day off going straight to the golf course, I'm going to have range sessions and maybe not play 18 holes, play nine. Yeah. And I think part of the mentality as well is you, you pay, I mean, we all pay a lot for golf membership at a club and you think, well, I need to make the most of that. Sure. So you go and you play golf rather than going and paying for a bucket of balls, etc. You think, well, no, I should be on the course. But maybe it shouldn't be like that. Maybe you should be going to a range. As I said, hit balls, work on the mechanics of it better, get those ingrained into your, the sort of the muscle memory, the natural swing that you would normally do. This is why we're here today. We're, yeah. we're hitting some balls and we're doing that. Um, this, like I said, this is just a little update, really. It's more to say, do you have that same kind of problem? Do you have lessons and then not forget them, but kind of just go off on the course and think yeah. that you're going to be it's going to work perfectly because yeah. it doesn't. You know, and I've spoke to Matt before, a professor. I've spoke to Chris. I've spoke to Dan, and they all say, you know, have a lesson, come back in a month. Have a yeah. lesson, come back in two weeks. Yeah. But in between that time, you've got to practice yeah. what we taught I mean, we, I had No the, point in having the lesson. I had the lesson on a Friday, played at West Cornwall on the Sunday and had a good score. Played at Land Hydro the Thursday after. And I don't think I played golf then for probably about three days. Three days, four days. You slightly off. Yeah, you were slightly off camera, that's right. <laughs> three days, four days. So in that time, something had like slipped. So I hadn't been doing the move quite as it should be. And when you're out on a course, you haven't got your coach or your, your teacher going, no, no. Yeah, that's not right, so, yeah, you know, just you, adjust it slightly. You're trying to just rely on yourself to know what you're doing, so. And you've got that one strike, which is always gonna be that pressure of playing a real goal. That's it, yeah. But it's when you do that one strike wrong, and then you, do, you go to the next one, and you yeah. still can't quite think of what you got wrong, but you do it again, and it yeah. kind of goes wrong, it capitulates, and then you, it builds and builds and builds into something, like you said, a horrible round. Yeah. And then you lose confidence. Because you it. are a good player. Everyone sees it on the channel, they know you're a good player. You just have to believe yeah. in yourself more. Yeah. And like everyone else with lessons, get practicing. That's it, yeah. I need to do more practice. Okay. But yeah, by the end of the year, I want to try to get to eight or below. Okay. And then that gives me a full year, basically, to do the last four shots. Okay. Now, my, my last answer to that is, well, I think you can do it. A lot of people yeah. out here think you can do it. You know, Chris thinks you can do it. So does yeah. Dan and people we've discussed it with. 
but there has to be a change of mindset. Yeah. And I'm saying this because I'm older than you and I can say what I like. Yeah. But I'm like your dad. Right? <laughs> so it's not about being a professional mindset, because that's what no. pros do. They practice every day and they play yeah. and they practice and they play. You've just got to, like I said, find time to get the practice in. If you want to be where you want to be, you've got to hone that yeah. in now. I need to not find time. I need to make time more. Yeah, be so, creative with yeah, your spare time you've got. Because you've got a normal life and everything you've got to lead as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, I hope, yeah, more time. Make more time. I think that's the the words for my next sort of few months. Okay. So we'll be seeing Neil on the range a lot more from some of the things. And hopefully, like I said, when this fitting bay's done, we'll, yeah. we'll be doing some things here with a bit of luck. Uh, and we're going to see, hopefully, Chris soon very well to, and soon to do another lesson yeah, with you. Yeah, second lesson, yeah. Um, and you will keep seeing Neil on the channel. We will be doing videos yeah, as we we'll do. Yeah, we doing, like, bits as we do. But, uh, but you, maybe... need to, you need to practice. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah and not just with the camera, because you're really good with that. <laughs> keep going, mate, because you're doing a good job. Yeah, we'll get there. It's getting darker. Should we hit some more balls? Let's hit some more balls. Come on, let's do what we're supposed to do. You could do that every day. Well, this is in the bag now, that's the thing. I don't mind using it, trying it now. Yeah. Right, you've got a few more balls left, but we're going to call it a day. We'll call it a day. you certainly worked up a sweat, mate. I have, yeah. If you're not sweating, you're not working. <laughs> True. So, is there anything else you want to say? First of all, thank you very much. That's right, no for, uh, for allowing us to come and watch your uh, 4x4. Yeah. No, that's it's fine. Very I mean, it might be of interest to some people out there that are trying to improve and sort of the struggles it can be trying to improve. Well, it's, it's interesting people like me who are trying to improve from the level I am yeah. further down. So, it's, it's good to see someone yeah. who's actually got, got a modicum of talent. Well, to actually get better. So, so I've got the uh, anything else to say? The got blog. A blog out there. Um, put a link just below here. If anybody would like to go and have a look, I mean, okay. I've not been the best at updating it, but I'm trying to. Sort of with lessons and times I play. So again, getting your time into the right the time right. so you can do it all, mate. It's fine. It's all right. I've got a diary now. Okay. Well done. I've got a new diary. I've got a diary. Nothing in it. It's all in my head. No, mine's mine's blank well, at the moment. Kelly goes mad. But put it in the diary. Put it right down. Put it in the diary. Yeah. If she saw what was in my head, she wouldn't want it written down. So, thank you very much to Hell Golf for allowing us to come and film today, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is not a journey, but more of a progression with yeah. Neil over the next 18 months, I guess. Really. Yeah. Something just like that, just yeah. under 18 months left. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope and hope be very informative. Hopefully, yeah. Please take a look at our other channel now, or my other channel, it's called uh, Big Oggy Cornwall. And uh, it's very, very new, but we're gonna do lots of videos on that. I'll get Neil involved on it as well, and Eddie, and some of the other people that are Cornish boys who live on this, live on this wonderful kind of duchy, as Eddie the, said the, the other duchy. day, yeah. not a county. And uh, again, please come and subscribe to that one, we need to get that one to grow. But if you love the golf, then obviously stay with us anyway. Anything else to say? I can't think of anything. I Thumbs think that's up. It. Thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a, thumbs up. a, comment, Give us a comment below. below. Uh, ask questions to Neil. Give Neil yeah, some Q&A. Yeah, I'm normally quite, a, you know? quite active on the, uh, the YouTube with replies. So if you've got any questions for me, pop them on. Make we sure they're nice. That. Follow Neil on uh, social media. Kern O'Nelly. Kern O'Nelly on Instagram and K Twitter. K-E-R-N-O-W. Yeah, N-E-L-L-Y. There you go. That's it. In case you know how to spell Kern uh, That's it. We're going. I've run out of balls. Neil's got a few more to go. 
going to go and get some tea. Yeah. And uh, maybe we'll back tomorrow and do some more practice on the it day after time. and the day after. Bye everybody. Speak Bye, soon. Everyone.